This lesson deals with an RL charging circuit. You can find these notes in the ECE 201 ebook in chapter 7 starting on page 14. Suppose you have a circuit with a 9 volt battery, a switch that closes at t equals 0, and then a resistance and an inductance whose values are 10k and 1 millihenry. Let's solve for the current through the elements in the circuit and let's solve for the voltage across the inductance. Just like in the RC case, we'll do a six step algorithm. And the first step was to formulate the equations. So we're solving for I sub L and V sub L. And so it's the form of a first order differential equation, some A plus B times E to the minus T over tau, since T zero is zero. I use a one and two subscript because I have two equations. Our second step is to find the value of these variables just before the switch changes state. If an inductor is in a circuit for a very long time, we can treat it as a short circuit as we've argued previously current in here is zero because I have an open circuit. And then the voltage across here would then be zero because I have a short circuit. So I've got the value of those two variables. Now the switch changes state and goes from being an open to being closed. The current that was flowing in this circuit is the current in the inductance. And that was zero at t equals zero minus. It must still be the same at zero plus. That's going to be a1 plus b1 times e to the zero. The voltage across the inductance we can solve for by going around this loop. Since I have no current flowing, then I've got zero current times 10K. So I have zero volts across there. So the rise in voltage would then equal the drops around the loop. That's going to be minus zero plus nine. So I've got nine volts across the inductance. So the voltage jumped from zero to nine volts, and it can do that. It's only the current that can't jump instantaneously. And again, this can be some A2 plus B2 times E to the zero. And again, E to the zero is equal to one. So I have one equation and two unknowns for my A's and my B's. I need another equation. Just like before, it'll be easiest if we take a look at as time approaches infinity. The inductance becomes a short circuit again. And now the current that flows is going to be the current that flows to this resistance, which is going to be this node voltage, which is 9, minus this node voltage, which is going to be 0, because the inductance looks like a short circuit. So I get 900 microamps, and this is going to be equal to A1 plus B1 times E to the minus infinity. Just A1. Voltage across here is zero because it's a short circuit, and that's going to be equal to A2 plus B2 times E to the minus infinity. So now I can solve for B1 and B2. Before we do that, let's find the Thevenin resistance seen by this inductance. Set all the independent sources equal to zero. There's a voltage source here, so we're going to short it. Switch has changed state at T equals T0. We're looking at it after that event has occurred. And so you just see the 10K resistor. Remember, tau is equal to L over R thevenin. Let's, let's drive the units of tau again. The resistance is in ohms, but you can also write that as volts per amp. Remember back in chapter 6, we talked about the units on an inductance. Because V is equal to L di dt, then the unit on inductance would need to be volt seconds per amp. So the volts per amp cancel, and I get units of seconds. In this case here, I get nanoseconds. Common mistake students make in, in homeworks and in tests is to flip this and have it R thevenin over L. That needs to be L over R thevenin because we're looking at E to the minus T over tau. And when you write an equation that way, you have a way to interpret tau. So in terms of time constants, we can say that in five time constants, that exponential term is really dropped significantly. I'd like to remember this, besides the units themselves here, is that usually this is a pretty small number. And we're dealing with resistances that are usually in the thousands of ohms case, and then inductances which are in milli henrys or micro henrys and like. But there can get very large inductances too. But the ratio here is going to be a very small number. If you get something that's in gigaseconds, then you probably flipped it over. But again, you have to check I'm solving problems. And then lastly, our step six is to put all this together. So we have A1 plus B1 is zero, and A1 we found to be 900 microamps. So then B1 is just a negative of that. So I of t, when t is less than zero, was zero amps. And then for greater than zero, we had A1 plus B1 e to the minus t over tau. Now when you plug in t equals zero, you get the difference of these two, which is zero. So we have the equality here. The current through an inductance is continuous. So we'll always have that to be the case. Now the voltage across an inductance could be continuous, but it can also jump. In our case here, we had that A2 plus B2 was nine volts. And we found that A2 was 0, so B2 is then equal to 9. Voltage across the inductance then is just 9 e to the minus t over tau, and, and tau is 100 nanoseconds. True for t greater than 0. For t less than 0, we found that it was 0 volts. And when you plug in t equals 0 here, you get 9, so we do have a jump. 
and so this is not continuous but discontinuous at t equals zero. This is how you solve for an RL charging circuit.